Hi there, fam YouTube family. It's Joni from Smile and Shrinkin, and I'm coming to you guys today on Saturday, October the 7th, 2017. Just doing a real quick check in. Um, wanted to share with you guys. Um, oh, <laughs> first of all, my stats. Um, I had DS surgery on August the 4th, 2016. So I'm over a year and just a couple of months out. Um, hit goal about five months ago, five and a half months ago, and I have been maintaining. So my high weight was 378. My day of surgery weight was 325.5. Last time I checked in with you guys, it's been a couple of weeks. Sorry about that. Uh, my weight was 176, bouncing between 178, 176, just depending on the day. And um, in this last about two weeks, um, my weight dropped just a little bit down to 172. So now I'm bouncing kind of between 172, 173. And again, just trying to maintain that. Um, I've got plastics coming up. I leave in three weeks. You guys know I've been really excited. I have been thinking about doing a post to talk about it because, but I'm trying not to be too irritating, but my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. In fact, um, there's a girl who just, she is 12 weeks out since um, I was having plastic, same surgeon that I'm going to. And I got to see her before and after pictures this week and our frames beforehand are very similar. And she looks so good. <laughs> she looks so good. I'm just hopeful, hopeful that I will even have anywhere close to those results. Um, you know, even though my weight has been stable and my, like I said, other than I've dropped just a couple of pounds, um, I was looking at the pictures because just checking over all of um, my stuff coming up pre-op, I did all my pre-op um, blood levels and uh, vitamin levels and all of that that the doctor required, had an EKG, that kind of thing. But um, I'm starting to put together my packing list, which I will do a video on that as well. Um, but I've been just looking at the correspondence between Dr. Seseda and myself and just kind of going over me asking questions and him always being really quick to respond, um, answering any questions that I have. Well, at one point I had to send him full body naked pictures so he knew what he was going to be dealing with. And um, that was probably two and a half months ago that that, that correspondence happened. But um, I just happened to see those pictures again yesterday, and I must say, even though my weight is almost the same, my body really does look a lot different right now than it did even just two and a half months ago. So that should be kind of exciting. I'm hoping that the changes as my body is shifting and becoming uh, more comfortable, that it's only gonna help to make the procedure even more smooth. Um, it, I've done a lot of looking in the mirror naked lately, trying to see, you know, oh, if I pull the skin that way, that kind of thing. So I feel a little bit stuck up. I gotta watch myself on that. Um, what else is going on? Oh, um, you guys know I was telling you I was so excited that my friend Dara, who's a nurse, was gonna be coming with me for uh, my trip down to Monterey. Well, in this last week, we found out that um, one of our mutual, very close friends, more like a family than a friend at this point, um, is going to be having surgery the same day that I will be having surgery. And so Dara needs to stay here to be her support person. Um, it's just a lot riskier surgery. And I'm so thankful that she'll be able to stay with her, our friend because she needs that. And so I was thinking, oh, I'll be fine. Uh, you know, I've heard of other people going by themselves. My friend Kristen is still coming at the end, so I won't be totally by myself. Well, I contacted Kristen to let her know about the change. And do you know that that sweetheart bumped it up so that she can be with me the whole time? How lucky am I to have such nice friends in my life? I am just thrilled about that. Um, that she could do that that's just so wonderful and thoughtful and I just want to say thank you I don't know if you guys are all watching um, Kristen but she also has a YouTube channel it's Asta Cielo y Mas and she is just a really really cool gal I, if you're not watching her you really should be she's just got a lot of really good information so uh, so thank you Kristen 
can't wait to spend time with you. <laughs> um, I want to say thank you to Jess over at Watch Kitty Shrink. She had a giveaway and I won. <laughs> so I got a gift card from Ulta. I got all kinds of cool gift goodies that she sent me that came in the mail today. Even more than what she spoke about when she was explaining the giveaway because she's just a little spoiler. So I just want to say thank you. I'm going to slip the picture in right now. That's so sweet. I think that's so sweet. Um, tomorrow, um, there's going to be a new episode of The Naked Truth here on YouTube. And tomorrow's special guest is Esther's BSG Jack. I am so excited for her to be on. I love Esther. I don't, I'm sure, I'm not saying her name. Of course, you guys know who Esther is. Um, she has just been a huge um, support for myself and so many of us. Um, she's kick butt keto. She's just has such an amazing attitude. I love her and I'm totally going to be tuning in. If you haven't already planned to set your alarm so you don't miss it, it's going to air at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, that part is great. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say was there, I had my one year vitamin labs and all that stuff drawn this last week. I kind of put it off <laughs> instead of doing it right at the one year mark. Um, so I wouldn't have to pay for it twice because I wanted it to count towards my surgery labs. And um, all of those levels came back with two things that were just a little bit low. My iron was a little bit low and my vitamin D is a little low. And just for you DSers, you know how many of the doctors don't really understand what we had done. Um, my doctor sent me an email that said that I was a little low in D and if I'm not already taking some, I should go ahead and take 2,000 IUs of vitamin D. I wrote him back. I said, well, I'm currently taking 50,000 IUs of D. So I'm wondering if I should double that. Um, my friends over at the DS board on thing, they said that I probably should just double it. And the iron, I'm working on eating iron rich foods, just everything to try to help my iron level improve. Um, Dr. Seseda is not worried about where my level was at. So thank goodness, but I am still doing whatever I can to try to bump that level up. Um, and there's also a new DSer in our community. Her name is Jovi1888. And um, she, I don't know if she's going to end up having a YouTube channel or if she's just watching some of us um, in the weight loss community. But she sure is sweet and she makes lots of nice comments. So maybe, maybe she'll make a channel. You know, we need lots of DSers out there. Still meet lots of people all the time that go, you had a what? <laughs> Okay, so those are all my notes for today. Um, so excited. Ah, three weeks. And I still have a week and a couple days of tax season left. So that's been busy. Daycare's busy trying to get everything ready. And um, I think that's about it. I will be making a video soon as I start to pack. I've got my passport packed. I've got my itineraries all together. <coughs> Excuse me. But I know that I have some uh, shopping to do to make sure I have everything I'm going to need. So anyways, if you guys have any questions along the way, you know, just give me a shout out. I will try to answer them as best I can. Have a wonderful week. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thanks again, Jess.